Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary Edition. This is uh, Latican 014. In the last part, we took care of, um, well, the last mission we got picked up and now we are trying to stop keys. So we're getting dropped off in a very heavily forested area. It's pretty cool. So yeah, now we're just trying to find keys. It's a pretty nice little looking place. Um, you can definitely see there's lots of plants. You can go back to the old graphics. I think barely any. Oh, well, they're kind of here, but not really that noticeable. So flashlight, not really too helpful. But the reason, come over here. Let's grab um, the gun I want, the shotgun. Yeah, finally, we get our hands on a shotgun, which is awesome. That's uh, good news for everyone. Let me see. Okay, just making sure my audio is being recorded right now. See, yeah, right up here. Yeah, it looks like a lot of static coming through. This is, I think, this is their probably their ship that crashed. But yeah, we've gotten everything we needed. Let's head back into the uh, newer graphics. Ah, much brighter, and continue on. As you can see, there are a lot of grunts that are dead and jackals. Kind of looked like a marine for a second, but I had to make sure. Stick with my sticky grenades, and there we go. The first enemies, just take care of them. I gotta lower the game volume on my recordings a little bit more. This uh, assault rifle tends to um, muffle my commentary more than I'd like it to. So he's down. The main reason I kind of not really a slow. Um, I'm not making slow progress, but I'm just kind of being a little more cautious because uh, there's a turret right up here, if I remember. I want to see if I can hit it. Oh, man, I had to fall off, didn't I? All right, get yeah, back up here. Let's use this rock as our launching platform. Um, this should do it, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, that's a little far. How about that? Just trying to get the arc just right so it lands right on it. And okay, we're good. Seems like there's no enemies. Um, there is an area down there, but nothing useful for us. So let's continue. Yeah, this is the mission where we're going to first encounter my most hated enemy. I don't like them. They're very annoying. And, uh, well, these Covenant are being driven out by the Marines inside. So let's head right on in and get reinforced. I saw gunfire. Oh yeah, that's how this uh, mission is being played. We actually are chasing keys because uh, we're just a second too late. See, the elevator just came back up. So the gunfire was from the marines earlier, so we're just one step behind them. Which is a little strange because uh, we still encounter quite a few enemies, so these marines are either a terrible shot, or they are really trying to rush through here. Oh. Yeah, sensitivity seemed a little low. Oh well. Stuck and see ya. One of that caused a chain reaction of explosives. How do you survive? Go around here. Ha! Ah. <laughs> Where's the other ones? Ah, I see them. If I can throw a grenade just right. And that auto aim is really messing with me. Whatever. Let's pull out the shotgun. <laughs> let's let's show. Uh, let's pump some lead into these fools. So not as easy to kill the jackals because I don't get that many shots, but. Man, the just, just the freaking power behind the shotgun makes them stagger just from being hit. So, I love the shotgun. It's going to be very useful for the next coming parts. And the frag grenade's just as useful against the jackals. So I get two of them. Get the last one with that grenade. And... Is this the next door? Yeah. I guess since they were guarding it, it kind of tell, it's showing us the right way. Looks like a... Something happened here. Well, those guys got slaughtered. Oh, I wonder what's going on. Alright, so we are in the next room. It is kind of a mazy area. I mean, I do get lost. Sometimes. Oh yeah, those are needler rounds, so if you want to collect needlers and uh, bring them into the fight, you can, but I'm not going to. Not very useful. It's just too slow. Even on Halo 2, like, I barely use it. Stay back! Stay what the back. heck? What are you doing? 
He's got an A wall Marine. Yeah, he, he's traumatized by something, so let's put him out of his misery. You can't, um, if you sit here long enough, he will, uh, kind of, uh, threaten to kill himself, but he never actually does. He just keeps shooting at you. Laser weapons are probably the best choice, so, um, see you later, assault rifle. You're going to be missed. But yeah, the way up is through here. We gotta come up the flaming debris. Um, looks like this was a containment uh, area for something. I wonder what. It looks like that Marine survived it, but he is now no longer with us, because I took care of him with my trusty old shotgun. Alright, alright. Um, that looks like the right place. Has symbols. Mm, looks like a place we haven't been to. So it looks like we're backtracking just a little bit. Or wait, we came in through that door. I'll try to remember that. <laughs> oh, the assault rifle ammo. Something broke down these uh, doors. Gotta be pretty powerful if they can do that. Oh, looks like uh, the next part is here, so let's enter. Let's check out what's going on here. So we get a little cutscene right here with uh, Master Chief. Kind of checking up on this door. Ah, keypad. Uh-oh. Heard something. Hmm. Looks like we're okay. Let's enter in the keypad while making sure we guard our backs. You Whoa. The dead marine. Could it be bad? They gotta strap this marine full of C4. <laughs> A lot of blood. There's a massacre in here. Huh. Well, since every Marine is equipped with the um, a video camera, let's see what happened to them. So there we go. We're gonna see what exactly happened. It's an open record view. That's 2552. Private Jenkins Wallace. Um kind of a reference if you know about World of Warcraft, the Leroy Jenkins thing. Jenkins making his way into about every game. <laughs> I usually skip that. There's Johnson again. You ask him real nice next time you see him, Vicente. Vicente. I'm, sure I'm not sure if that's a reference to anything. It's probably it's a uh, unique name. I've never heard it before. But alright, so there they go. They finally land. Fast forward just a tiny bit. As you can see down in the bottom left. Now playing again. Oh, there's the entrance we uh, came from. We came from the right side. All right. Move it up. Looks pretty clear. Wait here for the captain and his squad, then get your ass inside, sir. Okay, let's move. Sorry, I'm not speaking too much. I'm just kind of letting you guys enjoy this little cutscene. It is quite long for a cutscene. Don't really see those. Uh, well, actually, you kind of see them a lot in modern day first person shooters now, don't we? I mean, look at it. Something. Wow. It's kind of nasty. Plasma scoring? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe there was an accident. You know, friendly fire or something? What yeah, we friendly have, fire, huh? Looks like a Covenant patrol. Badass elite units. All KIA. That's really Keys pretty. himself. Friend of yours? Nah. It's weird, though. <laughs> He's still in his captain's uniform. You'd think, like, if you go out in the field, you'd wear, you know, some type of armor. But I guess they didn't learn yet. Right. Well, let's get this door open. Oh, All right. Thanks, sir. But it looks like these Covenant worked pretty hard to lock it down. Just do it, son. Yes, sir. Stubborn military minds. There's that keypad we used. Although, I feel like it was positioned a little higher than that when we came down. <laughs> oh, well. A little paradox. So it looks pretty empty in here. I don't know what's going on. I 
got a bad feeling about this. Boy, you always got a bad feeling about Captain, something. Sergeant. Huh, Captain. Sergeant. What's going on, soldier? <laughs> not, not Covenant? What the heck? We've only been fighting Covenant so far. What else could be on here? I didn't see any animals. Mendoza, get your ass back up to second squad's position and find out what the hell is going on. But I don't have time for your lip, soldier. I gave you an Sarge, order. Sarge, listen. What is that what sound? Is that? Where's that coming from, Everywhere. Mendoza? I don't. There. Hmm. Uh oh. So that's what busted through. Bunch of little octopus thingies. Yeah, not <laughs> animation quality isn't too great, but it works. It works for the time being. And you can see their aim is horrible. They're like stormtroopers. Get back here, Marine. That's an order. So they're getting swarmed by these little things. Oh, looks like the guy recording is down. Huh. WND incapacitated KIA. WND probably means wounded. So that happened. So where where are they? Where where are these creatures that just killed all our men? Well, let's go back to the old graphics and let's fight them off that way. All right, you can see the sh shotgun looks looks pretty shiny, and I would not recommend using the assault rifles on them. Bullet damage is not very good. The uh, creatures we are going to be fighting are the Flood. So, we got these little parasites. Easily taken out if they're grouped close together, just kind of shoot one of them, and the exploding shrapnel from uh, one of them exploding kind of gets the rest of them. Because they do try and kind of trigger each other, so um, this way you can kind of conserve a little bit of your ammo. You see, there, one explosion causes the explosion of the others. As long as they're close by. Also, they don't do too much damage, so you can kind of trigger them to come at you and just bash them. Which is always a fun little thing to do. But also, be careful. There's a lot more <laughs> coming. They're going to be coming from all the doors. So if uh, possible, you can use the shotgun, the buckshot. Um, it shoots. Actually uh, gets a lot more in a uh, couple shots. So I'll hit um, multiple ones. That way it makes it a little bit easier. So right now they're kind of swarming out of the door, making it a little easier for us. Looks like there's more in there. Let's throw a grenade, see if we can get some of them. Maybe they're coming from above. Looks like a lot of red dots, but um, the red dots show it looks like there's more enemies than there actually are. But we are not quite done yet. <laughs> you can see behind, finally, the big ones. Those are actually um, infested, um, infested Covenant, I believe. You can see the feet. Marks them as Covenant. So... Yeah, these things actually take over the bodies of uh, whatever victim they're going after, and then um, and then uh, convert them into a flood type, which is hungry for flesh or anything biological. So be careful; they come very quickly. Just watch behind me. The shotgun's quite effective because just because of the major damage it can do. But other than that, we need to make our way out of here. They're going to cause quite a bit of trouble for us. So I'm going to the other path. You can see they're fighting the Covenant. So we'll leave them to deal with each other. We don't have to kill anything. So if I don't have to kill anything, I'm going to keep going. I think the blinking lights actually uh, designate exactly where we're supposed to go. Kind of trying to guide our way. Yeah, so we got a little checkpoint. Let's see if I can make my way out of here without too much trouble. Uh oh. Well, I didn't mean for that to happen. Ouch. Yeah, their melee hurts quite bad. Even on normal, just like two hits will cause your shield to go down. Which is a major, major pain. So let's try to clear out these guys as much as possible. There's double kill. But obviously, if you don't take them out quick enough, it's going to cause problems for everybody. So I like to try to jump up here. Quickly. Get out of my way. Alright. There we go. There's another blinking light. Let's head through here. I think this is the elevator room, hopefully. Okay, maybe not. Did I go backwards? Oh, there's the door. <laughs> They're going to be following through, so uh, 
Just be quick about it. Also, we got some shock rounds. You can see some Marines tried to make their way out, but they didn't make it all the way out. A neat little place. I'm not exactly sure what this is. It looks kind of like a rail gun, but not exactly. Yeah, but eventually they will start carrying weapons, so you got to be very careful about that. And uh, any any uh, fallen down infested can get back up. Sadly, <laughs> it causes a bit of a problem. Activate lift. Um, apparently, we're going down further. As you can see, a lot of. Uh, Covenant blood. So in the meantime, let's go back. Make this a little brighter for us. We need to make our way out. Yeah, there we go. Finally, infested marines. So they have guns. Very, very annoying. Infested jackal. So yeah, we're just trying to make our way up. So you can see up here, there's a overshield, so might as well grab that. Give us some leeway with what we're doing. And... Yeah, I think we're making our way... Yeah, this light bridge is broken. I think you can use it just a little bit, but not enough. So yeah, you're gonna fall down. I think you have to anyways, but I'm not exactly sure. Don't quote me on that. But yeah, once they have weapons, whole oh man, whole different type of enemy. This thing can just swarm you. So there's our way out. I'm just looking around for the green lights. So see you later. Yep, we're good. So we'll make our way back, back into this containment room. Knock them down. See uh, more flaming debris, which means we can make our way up through here, which will be good. I'm not. See, I always get lost on my way because I'm not exactly sure where to go. But um, as these are fleshy targets and they don't have shields because they're no longer covenant, um, we can actually take them out very easily with any heated plasma weapon. So. I highly recommend uh, plasma pistols, plasma rifles. Um, I don't recommend using a plasma grenade, because you can see how they like to swarm at you, which means they're going to bring the plasma grenade right to you. So yeah, do not do that if possible. You'll probably end up killing yourself more than helping. Okay, burn. We're still okay with the... Um with our uh, shots. But yeah, right now they're breaking through the uh, glass glass flooring. And these things can jump. Holy crap, can they jump. There's a first level overshield almost down. I think we're going to have to fall down here. Okay, there's the blinking light. That's where we need to head. See, this is on easy, and look how many shots it's taking just to down them. Holy cow. So loading's done, that means we're heading the right way. Looks like another blinking light. If I'm possible, I'd like to take his pistol. And now we got another good weapon to <laughs> to kind of keep us going. So yeah, keep running. Uh, they're going to be coming from the sides here. So just keep making your way through. Should be fine. Crouch jump. <laughs> Make your way, uh, grab some of the ammo. Ah, there it is. There's a dory I'm looking for. They're all above me trying to get to me. But, uh, the pathing's not too great. So we're still fine. Alright, so we got a lot of them here. Gotta grab this plasma rifle since it's a lot easier to use. Alright, so where's the door where I'm looking for? Maybe I'm have, gonna have to kill him? We'll see. Sit down, son. Alright, um, can't act. Okay, checkpoint. Something's gonna happen. Um, am I lost yet again? I can't activate that. It's not to my knowledge. Hmm. Let me try to jump up there and see if I can activate it. Nope. Something's wrong. Is there supposed to be a way for me to get up there? Oh well, maybe I have to go back through here. I did take the first exit I saw. But yeah, I usually tend to li uh, just linger around maybe a little bit too long. We came in through that door. I know that much. So we need to head up. Is there any... Ah, there it is. 
See, it's always kind of difficult to figure out because uh, it's not clearly shown exactly what you're supposed to do. Look, look at that jump. This is what makes them so annoying. I had to even overheat the plasma rifle just to get rid of them. Ah, so there we go. There's the door we want. So now we are on the second level. We can activate the light bridge and uh, escape. Sometimes you can see them down there. So you can see that. <laughs> activate this light bridge. Come on. There we go. Almost done with this mission. We need to make our way out quickly. Shotgun mayhem. All right. Get out of my way. The bridge. There we go. There's the elevator. I'll quickly activate it. Yeah, they can come up with us, but I'm just gonna let them kind of hit me. Ah, yellow, yellow dots. Friendly units. Awesome. We are finally out of here. All right. Now we gotta run our way out of here so fast. <laughs> I'm gonna try to rush as quick as possible. We're heading. Um, I don't. I'm not sure the comp compass doesn't tell directions. So yeah, we're just kind of heading through here. Um, I'm going to let the Marines die, so sorry about your luck, Marines, but I got better places to be. So as we head through the forested area, we're going to get attacked by infe um, the infected Covenant in, and uh, in Marines. So just kind of keep making your way around this mountain, keep traveling. Down this valley, we're going to get swarmed from both sides. You can see the motion sensor going haywire. There's so many red dots everywhere. There's going to be some coming from the front. So if possible, just shoot them down. Clear your path. Don't worry about it. And just make it to the middle. There's that installation we need to head towards. So yeah, I think we have to hold down here just for a little bit, but... Um, it's alright. We can survive it. We still got our overseal just, just a little bit. This is also a basis for one of the maps in the multiplayer. Um, if I remember correctly, it was like Warlock, or maybe that's something else. I just know there was like a, a sword up there you could collect on Halo 2. A kind of throwback, so you just kind of run around here. Alright, there we go. And 343 Guilty Spark. The There's that damn monitor once again. Someone has released the flood. Oh wait, why did I say damn monitor? Spoiler alert. <laughs> Something's gonna happen. But yeah, he takes us away from this fight, leaving uh, the Marines helpless, no longer with Master Chief's help. Yeah. So we've disappeared from the grid. So I wonder where this guy's taking us. Oh well, we're gonna find out pretty soon. So uh, this pretty much ends off this mission. You, you know, it went pretty well, mainly because we're on easy, and um, I got lost, like I usually do. It's always in the same room, too. <laughs> so, a uh, nice looking place. The library is the next mission, so uh, I'm going to end it off here. So, thank you guys for watching this episode of Let's Play Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary Edition. In the next part, we are going to do the mission, the library, and um, that is the item we're going to go after. It's going to be some sort of key. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you all later.